Hey guys, Wade Paquin with The Build Show. In this episode, let's talk about what this, a rain screen is, and how it works. So a rain screen is a technique used to control water and moisture on your exterior wall assembly. Here in Rhode Island, most of our homes are shingle style homes, so you'll see uh, Cedar Shake products like this on a lot of our projects. And to control that moisture and water and to increase the life of the wood Cedar Shakes, we like to use products like this Obdike Rain Slicker. Now this is a nylon material. It's basically a three-dimensional matrix. You can see it kind of has uh, these vertical lines in it. These are the vertical channels that allow that water and moisture that does get trapped behind the shingle to drain out. It also provides a channel for air and that helps dry behind the shingles and any moisture that's up against your exterior sheathing. So this is not a very expensive product. Um, you can get a roll of this for about 90 to 100 dollars depends on your market. Um, it really is a belt and suspenders approach. It doesn't take a lot of uh, extra labor for the siding contractor to install. It simply rolls out, gets stapled up, and then they can start running their shingle courses. Um, it is important to note that the roll should come out vertically, so these channels do need to be uh, oriented north to south. Now, behind me I've got uh, two mock-ups, one with the uh, slicker behind it and one without it and I'm going to take I haven't done it yet on this mock-up But I'm going to take some water and put it behind each Scenario and see how quickly the water is able to drain out so you can hopefully see the benefit of having This product behind the shingle shape. All right, here we go experiment number one the shingles directly applied to the zip sheathing no rain screen I've put a couple uh, pieces of shingle here as shims just to get this off the sheath a little bit so I can get the water behind it. And you see it's coming out from underneath the row. This is all face water right now coming down between each layer. No water has come out from underneath, behind the shingle to the sheathing yet. It's still not out. We'll wait for that to come down a little bit. I'll add a little more. Let's jump over here to where I have the rain screen behind the cedar shakes. And you can see that pouring right out of the channel, like that. So a tremendous difference. It's still, the water on the side that does not have the slicker is still trapped behind there. It has not come out from between the shingle and the sheathing yet. The only water that's come out of that is between the layering of the shingles themselves. Just starting to get a little bit of water, so I'm not sure how long that took, but that was at least a good minute before the water was able to get all the way down behind those shakes and out the bottom. Now I'm going to just pull these uh, shingles off and we'll see how much water is on the sheathing behind the shingles. So what I'm finding is most of that water got trapped up here in the upper couple of courses and very little made its way down. So there it's showing you that that water does get trapped behind the shake and against the sheathing. All right guys, so that's a pretty neat experiment. In conclusion, I think this product is well worth every dollar spent for water management. Water management is so important on a home in so many different areas. So to keep water away from your ex exterior wall assembly, to give that channel behind it to allow the space between the shingle and the wall assembly to dry, which is going to keep moisture out, no mold, no rot. It actually provides uh, a lot of longevity to the shingle as well. So at my price, I'm thinking I'm paying about $90 a roll 
for say a 30 square house that's 20 rolls at 90 bucks, about $1,800. It's very easy to install. The siding contractor can just roll this out, staple it up, and begin his shingling. So, pretty cool product. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, WKP underscore construction. We'll see you soon right here in the Build Show.